Hello everybody, happy Friday, last Friday of June. So I hope you all are doing well. So let's talk about some conversations I'm having a lot of um, as we have moved past the energetics of the summer solstice full moon. Uh, we're moving into some planets that are going retrograde. Um, regardless of all the things in the universe and in your personal universe that are going on, there are things that are just shifting and happening that are unseen. However, we're responding to most of the things within our universe with our subconscious programming. Whatever it is that we've programmed or been programmed to believe, to do, to be, to think, to feel, what's appropriate, not appropriate, um, how you are successful, not successful, what love is to you, all kinds of insanity um, that are in these programs. And so it has been crystal clear now for well over six months to a year. The time to align is now. The time to align is now. Because we've been going up this slippery slope. We're at the tippy top of the mountain. We're at the precipice of change within the universe of the universe of the universe of the unseen. But we're still responding to the unseen and the seen with our subconscious program and our thinking, not taking the time to stop, drop, sit, connect with our breath and begin to roll out ourselves from all the fires and the prickly heats and all the things that have been instilled in us in those programmings. So we're not seeing the forest for the trees. Um, we're responding in the exact same way. We're expecting things to be different. We don't understand why other people are insane when we are just as insane as they are by not making the necessary changes. So stop, become aware, drop into the body. What is the body see, sensing and feeling while you are stopping and becoming aware while you are dropping into the sea sense and feeling, you will then realize that your breath isn't where it is giving you the most benefit. So breathe deeper into that. So then as you connect with that breath, you're dropping deeper into the body and your awareness becomes a little more acute. Now, some people don't want to see that. That's why they can't sit still. But I'm telling you, if change is not being made by you on a personal level, it will be made for you by the push and the pull of the universe and all the people, places, and things that are in it in your environment, demographic, seen and unseen. And it may not be on your terms. And it may turn out to be what the WTF just happened to me. Why did the rug get pulled out? Why did this occur? Well, most of it's because we've been living in the river of denial. And we've been building our pretty handy dandy boat so that we're comfortable in this river of denial. So the time to align is now. The time to align is now. The time to release what no longer serves. You will not know what no longer serves truly, really. If you don't get your journal out and start writing down, this doesn't feel good. I don't like this. I don't want this anymore. So you could start with your don't want list and then you can expand out to what you do want and how you can replace the negative effects of things that are going on and turn it into a positive or drop it the fuck out of your bucket because it just isn't going to work. So, I had somebody who I know message me yesterday with, you know, wanting and been wanting for a period of time to communicate with spirit and have a better communication with spirit and wondering why their communication skills have been a little bit different than other people that they know. And so this time they were having a lucid dream, which means you're walking through real stuff. It's not made up, just feels like it is. And they're being, they're hearing, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And the first response they want to do is send them back to the sun, to the light, to source and get them cleansed and out of their atmosphere. 
The second thing they want to do is then make sure that they're they're from the light and not being trickery. So then they're working their their tricks on that too. But then after coming to and the more awakening of I'm in my room, I'm in my bed kind of thing, a face appears and the face that appears is very familiar and then it disappears and she hears the message in a telepathic way that I'm the one that's been asking if you can hear me. And so as I was listening to her message, my response was this was an absolute beautiful angelic ET-ish being here for the highest good and that we are following old programs by by kidding ourselves that those programs are still alive. They're not because there's nothing here to harm us, but the old programs that we're allowing, giving full permission to recycle constantly. So we're in that cage, we're in this cage and it restricts us, okay? And then we don't have enough people to express things too that can give us honest, true, intuitive, in tune feedback like myself. So she reached out and I got absolutely, this was an angelic ET being, and let the old programming go. You got to dialogue with these beings just like you would dialogue with humans or dogs or whatever. When you first meet and greet somebody, you're sizing them up energetically. You're sizing them up in a physical way. You're sizing them up through your, your intuitive and through your perception and through your understanding and your translation of their movements, their thoughts, their speaking, their actions, their belief systems. Is this somebody that I want to have as a friend? And then how close will that friend be in proximity to my heart center? Is this just going to be a one-time meet and greet acquaintance? What is this going to be? This is exactly how we have to dialogue with the outer world, which is really our inner world. It's just in a different format and you're not used to it. And you've been programmed through movies and books and illusions and delusions of how it's supposed to be. And it's just not going to get you to the other side of the tippy top of the mountain of where we are energetically. Where we're being triggered, pricked and prodded to make some changes. So you're going to have to stop, drop, sit, become aware and connect with your breath before you roll down the other hill and start going up another and you can do this with safety if you start paying attention to the intuitive heart self and you start talking to people like me who are going to be able to just flat out tell you like it is with the information that I have so it's tools tips talents techniques that I have been bestowed and worked upon through my own stuff with the world as a seasoned and experienced intuitive coach, whatever you feel like labeling me. And then the other thing I got, I'm getting is things are happening to somebody. And the first thing that they want to do is put everyone in their place to spear them, to take them out, to shut them down, to close them up and show them their power and then call it karma. I'm going to deliver the karma myself. I'm going to burn the whole fucking thing down to teach you who you just messed with. So that's a lot of buildup of combustible energy of many different lifetimes of being very powerful, overusing your power, then coming into lifetimes with no power, wishing that you had the power. And then what you're going to show everybody how you have the power. When really harnessing your power has a an inner innate dial to it. So it's very different this lifetime because that invisible obstacle course is no more, my friends. The obstacle course that's in front of you are the ones that you've created for you to learn your lessons. Whether it's hopscotch, tripping over a block, falling off of the merry-go-round, sliding down a hot metal tin sliding board, whether it's seesaw and somebody jumps off and you land on the ground uh, whether the the swing goes too high or or a marathon around the gym it doesn't matter what these obstacles are you have created them so that you can learn how to be better to hone in your skills 
to start getting the informational warning signs to start paying attention and to make sure that your fulcrum is strong and steady so that whatever it is that you're juggling and balancing has more harmony and less harm. Yesterday, I asked a friend, I said, you know what? There's supposed to be a guide coming in, blah, 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 blah. What are you picking up? She just went straight into, I see a room full of angels or divine beings, and they're slowly coming down the rope to the earth plane. And they're coming to their designated people that have been planned to communicate with these beings to bring more energy, more light, more information, more avenues, more pathways, more bypassing of the current paradigm and how to be more successful with a little bit of a different twist and turn to your journey. And then to train and teach and be an instructor to others. So, of course, that's my twist on my interpretation of what it is that she was telling me. And it's what I'm fully expecting to have a different way of communicating. I can already feel my guide here. And because my delivery system on so many different things are so rock solid in my meat and potatoes of blood, flesh, and bone. And so it's this get grounded before you soil. So get grounded before you crap your pants. What's going on? So before you're ready to fly, you gotta learn to navigate this earth plane because you can fly on this earth plane fully grounded. And that is what they're teaching us with our physical apparatus. And there's so much more that you can learn. And as an embodiment coach, I'm here to share with you. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help facilitate whatever intuitive place we go to so that you can learn to start trusting yourself and whatever is poking, prodding, and triggering you and interpret that. So here we are, my friends. The time to align is now, and I'm here for you. Embodimentofthesoul.com. Email me at info at embodimentofthesoul.com. You're welcome to even start with the zone technique therapy session where we work with the messages that go to the spine and from the spine, relaying it back to the brain and opening up any delayed responses, any hiccups that are going on there because everything from the brain goes to the spine, goes to the body, comes back to the spine, goes back up to the brain. And we have so many emotional, physical, mental and etheric blockages and kinks and twists and turns and little clog ups that you're not even aware of until you start unclogging them. And you're like, oh my God, I had no idea I locked up. I truly was. So zone technique therapy can help you unlock. So I'm doing a $99 special for this summer. And again, info at embodimentofthesoul.com. Email me, put in the subject line, zone session so that I can get to those emails more quickly than I can some of the other emails that I get inundated with. So put in the subject line, zone therapy, and let's get you a session and let's at least start with that. And then we could look at whatever else that you need. And that if I'm not able to deliver that for you, we're gonna work on empowering because I can deliver that for sure. Because guess what? Each of you have got it. You've got it. And I'm here to help you understand how much you've got it. All right? We are here to reconcile. To, rec to recognize and reconcile any off balances so that we can come back into a full-bodied homeostasis. A full-bodied homeostasis. 
is that now you can stop, drop, sit, and become aware of what it is that you embody. And then walk out into your life's path with a little more solidarity and understanding and clarity. Doesn't that sound... I'd really like for you to share this video with anyone that you think could benefit from this. And anyone that you share it with, I'd really like for you to ask them to like, subscribe, and share so that I can boost my algorithms. And that, my friends, is something I need you for. All right? Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.